Hey guys, what is up? Mist here with another video. Recently, over the past couple of days, the Nvidia Shield TV and Xiaomi Mi Box has received the Android TV Oreo 8.0 update. In this video, I'm going to tell you my pros and cons, what I like and what I don't like about it, and to give you guys a little sneak peek of it before you update. Stay tuned. To all my new views out there, if you guys are not yet subscribed, just look below the video, click on the red subscribe button, and then click the little notification bell so you guys will get notified for all future videos for everything I post. It's going to be great. You're going to be first to hear about all the new APKs, add-ons, and much, much more. Okay, guys, so if you go ahead and do a check for updates and start downloading it, this is what you're going to get offered. If there's that there's a new update, um, it's about 600 megs for your Xiaomi Mi Box or Nvidia Shield. I have both devices, but in my case, I'm doing it on the Xiaomi Mi Box. Takes about took me about maybe eight minutes to download and about three minutes to install, so not that bad because maybe I have a good internet connection. Once it's done downloaded and installed, it'll let you know that your Nvidia Shield or Xiaomi Mi Box has been updated to the latest version of Android TV. Now. If I go and click on continue, it's going to check for any more updates, which you will not find. And then it's going to walk you through a little what's new for Oreo um, Android 8.0. It lets you know that there's a new channel feature, um, a new a new feature called Play Next, uh, more features in Google Assistant, uh, more, you know, interactive media features, ask it the weather, ask it, you know, all that basic Google Assistant stuff. And you're going to go ahead, go ahead and be brought to your new interface right here. So... I went ahead and already customized my interface to what I want and now I'm going to tell you guys what I did. So every single row here is called channels. The first one is your apps section, which you can easily add new apps by clicking on the plus and adding any app you want from these shortcuts. So this is basically like your usual two rows of apps that's been that up changed to a channel row. These other channels here are if the app is supported. That specific row will be the channel for that specific app. So, for example, let's say um, if you don't like an app, you can remove it, or if you like it, you can keep it. And you can also move the channels up and down. Like in my case, I don't watch Red Bull TV, so I go ahead and remove that channel. I usually only keep Plex, YouTube, and Netflix. So basically, you're able to kind of see what the app has to offer, and it gives you a customized news feed and a customized thing depending on your own custom um, you know usability so the more you use the actual Android interface it's gonna learn more and show you an update to what you need for example this row on YouTube is all the recommended ones and if you enable the play next channel which I personally don't use you can actually for example add some uh, channel shortcuts that are supported and add it into your play next feature now not everything is supported so, and as for example, if you watch like an episode on Plex or an episode on YouTube and you pause it and you stop watching it, it'll automatically get added to your play next to remember you to continue watching it. So basically, it's like a smart uh, role where basically you can manually add what you're planning on watching next or it'll, as you're watching videos and content, it'll get added to that specific play next feature. I personally don't use a play next, so I go ahead and disable it, but that's my personal preference. But if you guys, for example, like that sort of feature where it sort of learns and customizes it all and puts it inside of one row, that's called the Play Next feature. Now, you can also add your own custom channels. I will show that in a later video. In this video, I'm kind of focused more on the Android TV 8.0. Now, all these apps that you click on will still take you to any application that you want, like Mob Joe, Cloud9, or whatever. And you still also have your Google Assistant. So if I go ahead, for example, I ask it here, what's the weather in New York? It'll give me the weather in New York. If I ask it to search, for example, um, search some 4K videos on YouTube, it'll bring that up. If I tell it again in the follow-up to play the second video, it will do that. So all your usual Google Assistant features, setting appointments, settings calendar, setting alarm, um, checking for traffic, um, managing your appointments, if it's connected with your Google Calendar, all that kind of stuff, it's still there. It's just updated so it learns better and it basically, it's the assistant is more improved. Same with the 8.0 on your phone, this is now brought to the Android TV. The top right is your settings icon, it's the same kind of Android 7.0 interface for settings. 
If you go to home screen, you can go to the same shortcut that you have access to towards the bottom where you can customize your channels, remove and delete the rows that you don't want, and also customize your app drawers. I'll show you how to get into the all apps here in a second. And you can also reorder your games as well if you have that, but in my case, I do not. And you also have like your keyboard, language, search, playback, and all that other, uh, you know, great stuff. And adding your remotes, your location security, all that kind of stuff is always there. Now, if you want to access and see all your apps at once, you can actually click on the apps icon. And it'll actually bring you to your app drawer. So this is basically like a all your apps thing. And if you click on the top on the Get More Apps for Google Play Store, you'll actually get redirected to the Play Store. And this is the and this is the Nvidia Shield slash Android TV slash Xiaomi Mi Box version of the Play Store, which only gives you the Play Store. That's of course, um, you know, that's formatted for Android TV. If you want the full Android Android Play Store, use something like Yelp or Aptoid TV to get the full thing. Um, the game there's still also Android uh, games, so that's basically it. Um, in a gist, that's basically Android TV 8.0. Um, that adds new interf adds a little new interface. A lot of people kind of don't like it. They miss the old um, general app section because um, this is kind of more geared towards those standard apps like Netflix, um, Plex, Sling TV, YouTube TV. It's not really meant for us, for people who use a lot of third-party apps because hopefully maybe you can add, you know, customizable um, specific channel rows. Like, for example, if I wanted to have an app, like, for um, live net TV, like, maybe, maybe I'll be able to be able to stream in the future the channels that I want directly from, uh, you know, live net TV. Maybe I'll have a row for, like, you know, um, file length, and it'll show all my APKs. But for now, the only thing you can do is you can add rows, more basic app rows. Um, you can't add channels, but you can add more rows of apps, and I will show you that in the future. And there you guys have it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, and I will see you guys in the next one. And let me know what you guys think of Android 8.0 on the NVIDIA Shield or Xiaomi Mi Box. Bye-bye.